Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Bhavna Joshi and I will be taking the subject childhood and growing up. So in this subject today we will be discussing about the protection of child rights. Now this topic is in your unit 4 of subject childhood and growing up period 101. So in this uh, topic, we will be studying about different organizations which uh, work in the area uh, for the area of child right. The first one is the UNICEF. The full form of UNICEF is United Nation National Children's Emergency Fund. Now, this was created in Uni United Nation uh, Journal Assembly in 11th, uh, on say 11th December 1946. Now, this uh, uh, the UNICEF aims to provide emergency food and healthcare services uh, to the children uh, in where or. Uh, uh, all the countries. Now UNICEF works in uh, approximately 190 countries uh, to protect the right of the every child. Now uh, the UNICEF believes that all children have a right to survive, thrive and fulfill their potential to the benefit of the better world. So uh, after, uh, the UNICEF also helps government of uh, different countries uh, to improve the quality uh, of their child's uh, children's life. So they help countries in uh, raising the funds and uh, promote health and well-being of the children and promote the rights uh, and well-being of the children also. So after UNICEF, it is WHO. Now the role and contribution of WHO, WHO is a World Health Organization. It was established on 7th April 1948 and its headquarters are, uh, is in Geneva, Switzerland. Now uh, the, uh, you, this WHO is working with the 194 member states um, across six regions and uh, uh, have more than 150 officers in different countries. Now, WHO basically deals with the health organization. That means uh, all the diseases which are related to, which are communicable diseases like influenza or HIV or um, non-communicable diseases also like uh, cancer and health, uh, heart diseases. Now, uh, WHO uh, main function is to act as a directing and coordinating authority on international health work uh, to provide uh, the technical cooperation and promote research also. So basically, uh, they help, they direct and coordinate uh, uh, international health work. Uh, they promote technical cooperation. They assist the government of various countries uh, in strengthening the health services. Then uh, uh, they help in uh, 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 prevention and control of epidemic uh, and other diseases. Now, next is the um, NCPCR, that is the National Commission for Protection of uh, Child's Right. NCPCR that this uh, organization was set up in March 2017 under the Commission for Protection of Child's Right 2005 Act of Parliament December 2005. Now, uh, National Commission for uh, Protection of Child Rights basically emphasize on the, uh, you know, principle of uni uh, universality uh, that every child uh, has the right uh, to get education. So it defines the priority and action for the most vulnerable children. That means the areas in uh, the backward areas and communities in which children are living. They work for this. So they exam examine and review the safeguard provided for the protection of child right in these areas. So they examine all the factors uh, that inhibit uh, the enjoyment of right of uh, children. Uh, basically, the children which are who are affected for by terrorism, the communal uh, violence, rights, natural disaster, domestic violence, HIV, prostitution, pornography, torture and all that. So they promote research in the field of child right also. They promote and uh, uh, they produce and spread information about child right also. And they, uh, they promote incorporation of child right in the curriculum also uh, and in teacher training uh, uh, area also so that every teacher and student should be aware about the various child rights. 
Next organization is NHRC, that is National Human Right Commission. Now, NHRC is an autonomous public body which was constituted in uh, 12th uh, October 1993 under the protection of human right accordance of uh, um, 28th September 1993. Now, this is an autonomous body uh, and was created by Act of Parliament. Now, uh, this um, in this authority, um, to recommend payment of compensation or damages is also there. NH NHRC is the National Human Rights Commission of India. Now, who is responsible for the protection and promotion of human rights? That is, they say that rights relating to life, liberty, equality, dignity of individual granted by the constitution or embodied in the international covenant. Now, uh, NHRC also uh, review the laws and procedure for protection of human rights. They review the factors including act of terrorism. They encourage effort of all the non-government organization, the NGOs who are working in the area of human rights. Next is the um, uh, role and contribution of child helpline. Now, these child helpline is the emergency phone services uh, which are which are um, you know which act as a resource to the children in need of care and protection now this helpline aims to call uh, aims to respond to the calls from children who are in distress and they need immediate assistance uh, uh, in any area so this helpline was um, started in 2003 uh, with 181 uh, child helpline in 147 countries. Now uh, this our national helpline is 1098. So after calling 1098 as per depending on the nature of the call that what assistance and support the child needs, uh, advocate counseling is done over phone and uh, uh, advocate um, information and services is provided immediate uh, if immediate uh, help is needed by the uh, child uh, that is also provided under this helpline next is the role and contribution of ngos ngos as we all know are the non uh, uh, government organization uh, and uh, they are uh, essentially academic organizations children's organization and allied uh, system and the whole uh, community so bal raksha bharat uh, commonly known as save the child in india is a non profit organization who works to improve the lives of the children uh, their headquarter is in uh, Gurgaon. The other NGOs who work for the to save the children for the rights of the children are Cry, that is Child Right and You, Goonj, uh, H A Q C R C, that is Huck means Right, and C R C here means uh, Center for uh, Child Rights. So uh, Huck C R C. Uh, this is also an NGO. So. I hope you all understood about the various uh, laws and organizations, sorry, the various laws which are made for the child uh, protection uh, right. Uh, I hope you all understood it. Thank you very much.